StartWrite version 6 has added a new feature that will be very helpful in creating worksheets. We call it the grid. This feature allows you to turn on a grid that will help you align various text and art boxes. It also lets you determine the size of margin you would like on your page. To turn on the grid, click the icon with the blue grid and red outline on the far right of the top menu bar. The blue grid you see will not print and is only for reference. The grid lines are spaced every one quarter of an inch horizontally and vertically with darker lines at one inch increments. Make sure the text box is active with black squares at the corners and sides before you begin. Click anywhere on the text box if you need to activate it. Move your cursor to the edge of the text box until the cursor changes into the four-way arrows. This four-arrow cursor means you can move your text box. Grab the box by continuously pressing down the left mouse button. Press the button for a second before you start to move so the cursor has a chance to grab the text box. You will see that as the text box approaches a grid intersection, the vertical and horizontal red lines appear. This is to help you align the text box with other text boxes. You don't have to set the text box on a grid line, but can use it to approximate where other boxes are lined up. If you would like to have the text box align with the grid every time to ensure that everything is lined up correctly, there is a snap to grid option. This is activated by pressing the down arrow next to the grid icon and selecting snap to grid. When you select snap to grid, the software will automatically align the text boxes to the grid. It will align to the, uh, the grid in the uppermost left hand corner of the text box. So if I move my cursor close to the corner and let go, it snaps to that intersection. The grid makes aligning text and art boxes a snap. I hope you'll enjoy the new Start Right version 6.